Hi there, this is David from Soft Planet, and I want to talk to you about Daemon Tools Lite, free software that emulates CD or DVD drives. You can choose among more than 40 languages for the installation process. After that, you can select whether you want to use the paid or the free version, since for Daemon Tools Lite there's no trial period and you can use either indefinitely. After that, you can select the different components for the app and you are set. After the installation process is done, the app sends you to the home page of the developer. If you decide to remove this program, just uninstall it from the programs and features. It is a simple and clean process, and at the end it asks you if you want to give feedback about the performance of Daemon Tools Lite. Do you want to have a lot of CD-ROM and DVD drives, but don't want to buy the actual devices? The solution is to virtually emulate. Daemon Tools does just that. While there are a lot of versions of Daemon Tools, the only one that is free indefinitely is Daemon Tools Lite 4.47. The other editions usually have a 20-day trial period, and after that you have to buy them to be able to use them. So if you'd like another CD-ROM or DVD-ROM drive, then the easiest and the cheapest way is to have a virtual one. Creating a collection of CDs or DVDs can be a troublesome and sometimes even a heartbreaking task. As a disc can be scratched or broken at any time, ruining your efforts and hence potentially destroying even the most valuable disc that you have. If you need a better way to protect your information, then the best way to do it is to make virtual images and Daemon Tools Lite offers you a free way to save your CDs and DVDs. You can do it in lots of formats within the virtual drive, such as MDX, MDS, MDF, ISO, CDI, Q, BIN, and many more. But you can also create using most of these image formats to save your information. To protect your information, you can add passwords on any CD and DVD image. For everyone who's used to working with Daemon Tools Lite, the new 4.47 version doesn't offer anything original regarding the look of the program, which has been the same for a long time. The image catalog is situated on top, and from there you can manage your images the way you like and make your own catalog. The different virtual devices that you've made are on the bottom, as you have a limit of four. Also, you can choose from two different types of devices, the DT and the SCSI. The DT version is enough for most of the users, while SCSI offers additional options, but also wants to make a reboot of your computer. At any time, you can remove any of the drives, which makes operating them even easier, because every button that controls the main functions is situated above the list of the drives. This is what makes the look of Daemon Tools Lite as simple as it is, and it also makes it easy to use. One thing that makes it even more user-friendly is that the program supports more than 40 languages. Adding or deleting different virtual drives can be done in seconds. The only thing that slows down the performance of Daemon Tools Lite is the aforementioned reboot when you want to add an SCSI virtual drive and also if you want to make an image of a particularly large DVD disc. All the other operations are done very quickly, and you don't have to wait too much to work with any of the images that you want, as the virtual images work much faster than the hard ones. There are a lot of other functions that are available with Daemon Tools Lite. As you can set it to auto mount, check for updates, use hotkeys, and others that you can explore and tweak. Daemon Tools Lite just could become one of your must-have tools. All its functions are practical, and there are no unnecessary frills, so you should be able to operate it painlessly, and it should simplify your disk copying tasks. So don't let its simple appearance fool you. It will emulate virtual devices, store your images, and help you in many ways. Give it a try and start creating virtual storage disks right away. Check out the full review on softplanet.com as always, and download it if you so desire, by clicking on the link in the description below and following the instructions on the Soft Planet page. Thank you.